Good evening one and all, I know it's a late one, I fully appreciate that this is probably past a few people's bedtime, I'll be honest it's past my bedtime as well but I just kind of need to get this done uh, because uh, race 3 is tomorrow and if I don't do this now then uh, I'll be covering race 3 before I've covered race 2 and that just does not sit well with my OCD so uh, we're live now to do it, I'm just putting some um, stickers out just to tell people that we're live. And in SimFX, uh, school bear. I left the I left the chat group, so I can't post it in the chat group. But um, ah well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do that, <coughs> and I'll post it in the this one. Boom. Right then. So what you're um, witnessing before your very eyes there's no one on twitch yet so if you're watching this hello youtube uh, what you're watching before your very eyes is race two from the infinity gt manufacturer series this one is race number two uh, the first race of the season that took place in the gt3 machinery uh, so obviously we had the opener at catalonia uh, that was in the group fours and then the group threes are at Lago Maggiore, as you can see. So the format for tonight is going to be a um, <clears throat> 50 minute race at Lago Maggiore. There are there, there is tyre wear on, there's fuel depletion on. Um, you must make a pit stop and you must run two different compounds of tyre. That's pretty much about it as far as rules are concerned. Um, so there's not too much juice to um, digest on that. Uh, let's have a quick flip through the qualifying order. Uh, so putting it on pole was Mr. Fabuki with his power windscreen wipers going. Uh, P2 is KB, uh, the Mercedes loving German. He, he absolutely adores Mercedes, I'm, I'm reliably sold. Uh, then LS Deno in the other Mercedes in P3, so definitely a ham bot ver sort of scenario going on here. Uh, TKM Spadders doing very well in the uh, in the opening round of the championship, hoping to repeat good performances in round two. Uh, third row of the grid is Pilo in the BMW, the BMW M6 GT3 one of my favorite gt3 cars uh this thing not the best in terms of power but certainly a, a superb handling car um does quite well at fuel saving as well so that might um uh, that might uh, ebb into the strategies tonight <coughs> uh, then you've got equal pants on the other bmw uh, adam 93 he's uh joining forces with fat pickles in the aston martin uh, a new team for this uh, for this race. So the Aston Martin team, funded by Lawrence Stroll, uh, live and direct from you. So we'll see. Very, you, you won't miss them with that colour scheme, will you? Where did they land? They landed in Italy on Lago Maggiore. Uh, you are seeing them, right? These are the aliens that I'm talking about, mate. These these are the ones. Uh, then we have got B rated in the Citroen. Uh, P9 Valtteri in the Porsche, qualifying for the Porsche in 10th. Uh, Total Rose in the other Citroen in 11th. Rick in the other NSX in 12th. And then myself, uh, long story short, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> P13, but not great. Um, yeah, uh, tyre strategy then. So, uh, Fabuki starting on the softs. Uh, the two Mercedes going for the medium compound, so he's Spadders, Pilo, Equal Pants, uh, Adam, Fat Pickles, B Rated, Valtteri, Total Rose, Rick, and myself. So only the one car on the soft tide to start with. Right, let's get this underway anyway, because it's a long race. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Right, so for the power wiper blades, then the uh, Mercs, watch for the Mercs off the start line, because they, uh, they will move faster off the start line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I've, I've got the remote next to me, mate. That's happened to me before. Uh, so the McLaren then gets a good start, but the two Mercedes get even better starts, and Fabuki immediately moves to defend the entire line. But that might not be enough as KB's already ahead going into the corner. Then they side by side as we enter turn two. Uh, one of the BMWs are getting shuffled out wide. Uh, looked like Pilo's car, but we'll see. Uh, no, it was it, it was Equal Pants car that got shuffled out wide, I'm afraid, as Fabuki does lead us through the field. A uh, little bit of contact by the looks of it between the Mercedes and the McLaren. And yet they do come to blows. The McLaren just about managed to keep it in check, actually. Let's have a quick look at that from Fabuki's point of view. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of contact at the apex. 
and that uh, does let LS Deno and TKM Spadders through. So Deno then leaps from the second row of the grid right to the front. Closely followed by Spadders, and we've got KB in third, Fubuki fourth, then Soft Tire lost three places off the start. That just shows you, even with a tire advantage, those Mercedes fly off the line. Uh, B rated, another car that got a decent start, up to fifth, with Pilo in sixth, uh, Adam in seventh, Total Rose in eighth, Fab because we're in ninth, Rick up to tenth, Equal has had a terrible start. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was him that got shuffled out in uh, turn two. Uh, he's fighting with Rick at the minute, actually. Uh, fighting with Rick in the Honda. Uh, can't Ickle Pants get his, uh, get his way through? He can. I'm loving the livery on that BMW. It's like, probably one of my favourites on the field so far. Uh, does look absolutely superb. As for Buki, he's becoming, uh, getting from under pressure from B-rated. Well, that tyre advantage should start to um, pay dividends for him. The problem is, um, he's got two Mercedes and a Honda to make his way past doesn't want to eat up his soft tyre sat in traffic, so Fabuki needs to get the job done pretty quick. It was a short one down to turn one, so maybe his team strategist wasn't anticipating him getting taken down into turn one, but that's what's happened. As we see Pilo then in the BMW make his way up into B5. That's how up into B5, I think that's pretty much where he started, but uh, uh, battle for the lead then between TK and Spadders and Deno, as Spadders looks down the inside of turn one, Deno's going to have the inside for turn two, KB might even look to follow him through there, as uh, Honda has to take a wider and slower line, but side by side clean so far, no issues with that at all, uh, the two Aston Martins now coming under a little bit of uh, pressure from Ickle Pants and the BMW, uh, Ickle Pants then already passed Fat Pickles, but looking to make a move past uh, Adam's car as well, the two Citroens going quite nicely, the two Mercedes trying to break the slipstream of the cars from behind, KB trying to play the team game there, we're just going defensive so that Deno can uh, tr tr try and pull a little bit of an advantage out, uh, the two Mercedes are going to potentially go side by side, KB just dabs the brakes and shrubs some speed off, uh, Deno goes into the corner ahead for Buki though, it is past Spadders, uh, Spadders immediately looking for that place back, Pilo going on the attack as well, uh, the BMW driver is smelling blood, he's like a shark in the water, he's looking for an opportunity. Uh, we've already seen him make his way past B rated, is he looking to make his way past the Honda as well? As we go down towards the big banky boy for the second time of asking them, Deno just about leading KB, but KB's on the inside. It is a, a Bottas and Hamilton situation all over again, where uh, Bottas is not playing the team game. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, Pilo then looking all over the back end of that Honda. We've got Adam now still defending away to Ickle Pants. Uh, Rick's got past Fat Pickles broke somewhere. Myself and Valtteri near the back. Uh, I really wasn't enjoying this Porsche. Uh, it just understeered awfully. Uh, just did not feel hooked up at all. Complete contrast to last season when the Mercedes, other than sort of on power understeer, felt fine. Could navigate the car quite nicely. And probably much more suits my driving style though, is KB. Uh, who I did say at the start of the stream, loves a bit of Mercedes, that of course was sarcastic, you can't stand them. So uh, he's currently leading the field in a car he despises. And uh, if you despise a car to that degree, yet you can pull that sort of performance out of it just goes to show the level of driver ability we are dealing with here. So the two BMWs that have got to fight back past these Citroëns now. And Pilo from somewhere has been absolutely mugged off by the two Citroëns as they uh, get their way now back up to fifth and sixth respectively. Uh, LS Deno has been passed by Fabuki. Did see that. Why did that happen? You know what, that happened a while ago and I just missed it. Hello to late night streams, ladies and gents. So, uh, right, can KB hold this on? <clears throat> I've got an honest prediction here. I do think that uh, Fabuki will get this move made pretty quick and he'll just bugger off down the road. Uh, a lot of it in this early um, uh, early part of the race is just management, just management of the tyres and the fuel, and this is something that a lot of these boys are well versed at. Uh, they're pretty good at sticking to their own game plan. KB, although he doesn't want to get dragged into a fight necessarily, he doesn't want to give up track position either, despite the fact that McLaren's got such a time advantage, you nearly get the move made by the outside. <laughs> that was a ballsy move there by Fabuki, and fair play to KB. Um, kept him plenty of space. 
Uh, evening, Dano. Hope you're well, Chief. Hope you're well. Uh, just focusing on this fight for the lead at the minute between uh, KB, Faruqi, uh, Dano and Spadders still lingering in the background. Don't forget, uh, the only car in the field is Fabuki, who now leads the race. It's taken him three laps, though, to get that uh, lead back. How much has that hurt his tyres? we will live to see so the reason why that might hurt his tyres just in case you're wondering well, why as we see Dano there uh, in venue track limits down around the outside of the final corner that might give Spanners a bit of a run um, it's, you, you're essentially scrubbing your tyres in dirty air so the, the, the dirty air thrown off the car in front of you is, is essentially making the aero on your car less efficient uh, therefore just demanding a little bit more of the tyre medium guys don't really care about that because there uh, are a lot of people who want to try and turn this into a one-stop race yeah they might want to nurse the tire a bit but it's not as sensitive as you see Valtteri in the Porsche making excellent progress he's up to 10th already so uh, he's already got himself past Rick myself and Fat Pickles bro and you not myself because I started right back and uh, Adam immediately gonna come back for a move here on the Porsche does get that move made that's Adam back up to P9 for that the Mercedes, not the Mercedes, I keep saying Mercedes, but uh, the BMW is now starting to battle uh, with the Citroen of B-rated. Of course, Echo Pants at the minute, the lead car in that group is the fastest car on track at the moment, pumping in a 56.7. Of course, these times on mediums, I fully expect Fubuki to go faster, probably even this lap. That soft tyre is worth um, at least a second a lap in most cases. As we just see in the background there, Porsche uh, getting it a little bit wrong. I don't know if that was Valtteri. Yeah, it was Valtteri. Because he's got Rick right off his chuff now. And uh, Rick and Valtteri and myself potentially even looking for a move down the inside here. Uh, one of few overtakes I may be potentially able to make in the race. Not close enough to finish that move, so uh, back out of it and uh, just allow the racing to continue. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit further up, we've got Pilo on the back of B rated. Uh, fast and furious action here at the start of this one. In terms of strategy, two strategies um, available really for use. We've got the one stop, which you start at the medium, stretch them as long as you possibly can, uh, aim to pit around the 25 to 30 minute mark use the sauce towards the end of the race when you'll be fastest. Uh, Fabuki might try and convert that into a one stop albeit the other way around. Uh, or there is the two stop strategy which is a short medium stint, probably pit end of lap six or seven um, and then do two ten lap stints on your soft tyre. In theory with the pit loss not being that bad here. Uh, pit stop takes you about 20, uh, 20 seconds or so it does make the it does make the two stop viable if you can extract the pace out of the soft tyre. So we'll see who opts to do what. Uh, of course, strategy often the decider in these races uh, because the skill level between a lot of these drivers, excluding myself from this, uh, but the skill level between a lot of these drivers is very equally matched. Uh, it all comes down to uh, to what the pit wall decide to do. Uh, as Pilo struggling to get past the uh, Citroen and B rated here. Already seeing the cars nearly burning through half a tank of fuel in five laps, so it's it's gonna make that one stop very different. Um, Spad is saving a lot of fuel at the minute. He's got way more than the Mercedes have. And it's starting to just pull a little bit of a gap to Deno now. Deno, who is coming under a little bit of pressure from Total Rose in the Citroen. And again, I'll be honest, I doubt either car will want, want to really engage in a scrap. And Total Rose's body language in that Citroen doesn't suggest that he's lining up moves anytime now. Um, he's probably quite happy sat behind the Mercedes, saving a little bit of fuel. Um, he'll get his race pace later. Uh, it looked like he was going to dip into the pits then, but uh, decided against it. Uh, the Porsche Valtteri then still ahead of Adam. Uh, I'm trying to catch up to that little fight. I have got Rick bearing down on me as well. Fat Pickles broke there in the background. Yeah, there's the Porsche's understeer. Of course, running the mediums uh, medium tyres at the moment, so not as much grip, but it was definitely workable. Uh, he's got 
we'll check in on Fabuki at the top then. Fabuki does now have the fastest lap of the race, predictably lap 4, 54.6. Now starting to pull that gap. That's what he needs to do in this uh, in, in this opening part of the race. Because if it's going to be a part of the race where he has to do the mediums, and that's when he will slow down. So uh, he needs to make the softs count and uh, make the free air that he's got count as well. <clears throat> uh, you can see the guys that are on mediums about a second and a half, uh, second and a half second, yeah, about a second and a half uh, slower a lap, uh, running the medium tyre. Uh, the medium tyre in theory a little bit more predictable in terms of his grip level uh, probably even offering that little bit more in terms of longevity uh, as we see um, B rated then does get passed by Pilo uh, let's jump on board the BMW and see how that uh, move happened it happened down at Big Banky Boy um, he's standing over take that for Pilo B rated actually looks like he might have backed out of that one early yeah, and that gets Pilo uh, up to seventh place. So a nice overtake there by the BMW. Uh, these guys now back in sixth and seventh, respectively. Uh, one of the Citroëns, though, still uh, still ahead of the BMWs. His total rows still sort of behind the rear wing of that Mercedes. Uh, still quite happy where he is at the moment. I think just working at saving that fuel. Uh, there is some short shifting going on from pretty much all these cars at the moment, just to save that. Uh, Save that motion lotion. Uh, we do have a car in the pits. That's KB has pitted it in the Mercedes. His teammate stays out. Total Rose B rated. Also dive into the pit lane. So do I. And there's another car that dives in as well. Uh, I didn't know who it was. Not sure. Didn't see it. Uh, so we're getting rid of the medium tyres now. So this is where our strategy will differ. So we'll now all go on to soft tyres. Probably take enough fuel on board for like a 10 lap stint. Right, and in theory, we should still have decent pace in our soft tyres towards the end of that 10 lap stint. Uh, that, is, that is the theory. Theories don't always turn out to be true, so I'm afraid. Um, what that does do, that does give some clear air though to a lot of the other drivers. So these two BMWs, uh, our users are a good example. They've not got as many cars around them now. They've not got Citroëns to battle with. Uh, they're now going to have a much more pleasant time in just extracting their strategy. And the closest car behind is Valtteri in the Porsche. Uh, it's a good few seconds and only getting further away. And the Porsche just didn't... I mean, in my hands anyway, just didn't have the pace. Valtteri was able to extract a little bit more out of it than I was, but... Just couldn't get the pace out of the portion at all. Uh, the Aston Martins look to be carrying on as well, so they're on a bit of a contra strategy to what we are. Uh, Rick carries on. KB, the first of the pit stoppers, then, so he's pretty much got a full tank and some softs. Uh, so is Total Rose, so have R, so is B rated, and so have I. Yeah. So we're pretty much matching um, in terms of what we're doing um, at the moment. No signs of a pit stop though from the race leader Fabuki carries on. Spadders though does pit in the Honda, so does Deno. Uh, so he goes down a lap later than his teammate. The two BMWs uh, will carry on for the time being. So are these guys going for that one stop strategy? It's the only real reason you take a set of mediums over 15 minutes, is if you're looking to do a one stop. Or you want some really short laps on the softs, like if you really struggle for tie down on the softs, uh, then you might want to do it. But uh, I've got a feeling that these BMWs are looking at a uh, potential one-stop race. Uh, we'll see. I mean, Pilo's done a, got more fuel than Ikkelpan, so it might be a bit tougher for Ikkelpans to do that. Because uh, if he wants to one-stop this, um, he's going to have to fuel save a lot in the next stint, which he probably won't want to do. So, probably just ext extending his medium stint, to be fair. Um, Pilo, still realistic that he could do a one-stop. Uh, so, we shall, uh, we shall, of course, see. Same for Valtteri. I mean, Valtteri could still do it. I guess we'll find out in about ten minutes or so to see who pits. Uh, fat pickles broke as ever. Still got half a tank of fuel in that Aston Martin. 
got loads of fuel on board, so he could do any number of things. Just while the basin has calmed down a little bit, I will just take this short opportunity just to mention a couple of things. So, of course, this is the Infinity GT Manufacturers Series. This year the organisers have uh, opted to support um, in conjunction with We Are Driven which anyone that's um, not been living under a rock in the sim racing community in the last month or so uh, will be aware that uh, the We Are Driven Foundation is aims um, at getting basically the sim racing community together to fight against um, bad things in the world and, and raise awareness and and basically be a bit of a force for good and as part of that they have partnered up with its uh you'll see the um you'll see the logos on the cars i'm trying to wait for a good shot on the side of the bmw there's a perfect one uh and it's called it's okay not to be okay um it's something that james got involved with previously as well and it's uh we've come back to support it so you'll see all the cars running the logos uh, we'll try and promote it as much as we can in the streams as well um, but obviously very, uh, aimed uh, pretty um pretty fiercely um, against the stigma of mental health and just making sure that people feel comfortable in talking and uh, not that there's any sort of shame in having any sort of mental health issues or anything like that. I know it's a lot less of a taboo now uh, but it's good just to encourage that open communication between people and that's what that charity aims to do uh, and obviously be a, a focal point of support for anyone struggling and suffering as well. So please go and check them out. I will throw some links in the description below if you're watching this over on good old YouTube. If you're watching this on Twitch, I'm afraid you're watching this live. So uh, nothing I can do for you. You can you can you can like Google it. I don't know. The, the, I mean, the, the, I've looked at them over on um, uh, on Instagram. So uh, I've followed them since James uh, started supporting them. I think it's two seasons ago now. So yeah, definitely worth it. Something that I, as anyone that knows me knows, uh, I struggle with it. And it's part of my recent sort of retirements from a lot of things is bad mental health. Um, and it's showing in my performances as well, because I'm terrible at the minute. I'm in 11th at the minute, but that's just pure luck. I just got my way past Adam and Rick. So let's have a little bit of a recap then. Fabuki's coming close to a pit stop now. Uh, running on fumes in that McLaren, but yeah, so far taking it 10 laps. Crazy! How you doing? Yeah, it is a good cause, Dano. Uh, excellent cause, mate. Uh, Ickle Pants, pit stand, so 17 minutes. Yeah, he's pretty much chalked himself out of a, out of a one stop. This is going to be a long way to take a set of softs, that. Fabuki mm, set of mediums half an hour isn't as much of a uh, of an ordeal. Uh, Pilo though, quarter of a tank left in that car so far. Pickles also saving a lot of fuel. So Pilo and Pickles are going to be the guys to watch in the closing stages of the race. Uh, Pickles, who hasn't yet pitted, um, is looking to be overtaken by KB, who has pitted, but KB being on the softs. Um, and on what seems to at least be a more aggressive strategy. Uh, Pickles and Pilo playing the long game on this one. And so they're just waiting for their chance to come later on in the race. And you can see just how much it short shifts from that BMW. He's barely getting it into high revs. Um, so he's not really working the turbo too much. He's, uh, he's keeping the revs nice and low. He looks to be coasting through some corners as well. So. Doing that and keeping good pace in the BMW, so so far so good for Pilo. Uh, of course, race leader Fabuki on soft and going a fair bit more aggressively. Uh, second a lap faster at least at the moment, Fabuki. And uh, yeah, he surely, yeah, he surely has to pit this lap. You know, Pickles uh, We'll go and we'll go and check it out in a moment. Crazy. Did he, has he plagiarised it, mate? Yeah, Fabuki comes in. One litre of fuel. Uh, I reckon Pilo's staying out. I don't reckon he'll come in this lap. Yeah, stays out. Uh, Valtteri, he might pit this time round. I don't know if this is just a long medium stint for him. I'd be curious to see what Fabuki and Valtteri do in terms of strategy. Because whatever Valtteri does, he's got to go on the softs at some point. Did a good job of saving fuel, though. He still came in with nine litres of fuel on board. Aston. Oh, is it the actual Aston? Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. 
Um, I can't say I've um, I paid that much attention to real liveries, but it's a nice looking car. Uh, with a few little additions, we've obviously got uh, it's okay not to be okay. Uh, digital car culture and we are driven and a few other logos dotted on there. It's obviously a nice looking car that as he, as he battles away with TKM Spadders. It's, it's fair enough. I've got a similar one in race, racing green with like a stripe down the bottom with all the sponsors like sideways on it. Uh, but it's a little bit bigger than that in terms of where the sponsors go. Yeah, I plagiarise that on the internet as well. Uh, Spanners back into third then. So a lot of these cars that pitted early are having to deal with, uh, uh, with slower traffic. So cars that... Um, Cars that maybe haven't pitted yet, so B rate, uh, sorry, total rows, sorry. Um, he's gonna come, gonna come up to Fat Picklesborough now. Fat Picklesborough obviously has his own race to run, so he's not gonna want to peel straight out of the way of these guys. Uh, he has his own markers to hit, of course, so just getting out of the way of another car doesn't really work for him. He doesn't have to, it's, a, it's not a Nikita Mays pin lapping him for the fifth time in 20 minutes sort of situation. He's, it's a, it's a um, battle for position. But I think if the central wants to come past, he's not going to fight it. There we go. Yeah, that's um, that's total rose potentially through for Buki. Then back out again, another set of softs. So that's him, absolutely nailed to a two-stop strategy. So what he will probably do is go to the end of lap 20 or 21, and then put his mediums on right at the end. Um, so kind of a contra strategy to what. Um, a few of us are doing where we started on the mediums. Oh, two hour loop. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that event. I remember that event. It's a good event. Uh, LS Dano, also uh, another driver that's nailing the two stop by the looks of things with the amount of. I'm just looking at the fuel levels of a lot of these cars. Uh, Fabuki's fueled a lot longer than Dano has. Again, for Dano this time, it's probably going to be a relatively short soft stint. Probably go into light lap. Um, I don't know if that we'll see, because he's, he's done the mediums. Everyone's done the mediums apart from um, uh, apart from Fabuki. He's the only driver that's going to be suffering towards the end of the race. So again, for Fabuki now, he's on the softs. Um, got other cars around him that are also on soft so that's the problem for Fabuki uh, as Pilo now obviously assumes the leader of the race he's gonna probably pit this lap uh, so he's gone 24 minutes uh, on a set of mediums and a full tank of fuel and the mediums have held up quite well I don't see any reason why you can't take a set of softs the same distance um, and probably just uh, maintain the fuel saving and he might might just get away with a one stop. It's going to be close towards the end on fuel. As, the, uh, as we're going to about to see, just the medium part of the race taking order. So we're still going to be out of order and out of kill a little bit because there are different strategies at play. Um, so cars like uh, maybe your KBs, uh, your spanners that have, that have maybe short fueled this mid stint. Uh, and then if Fabukis, who've gone long on fuel, uh, potentially then he's going to look to go quite a way into this race before he has to take those medium tyres on. Uh, always we've got Total Rose off the track. What happened there for Total Rose? I'm not even going to bother going in the cockpit of that horrible thing. Or just late on the brakes. Uh, just, just too late on the brakes for the Citroen. It's French, I'm surprised it's not had some sort of catastrophic electrical, electrical failure so far, so the fact it's still driving round is a <laughs> it's testament to the sim racing game. Now, what else is happening on track? So, Ickle Pants could be another loser of traffic here. He's out of the pits now. I remember my, I remember my race um, when he came out of the pits. He came out next to me and let me through. And then I'll be honest, I just thought, I'm, you, I'm not sitting behind, I'm not going to let you sit behind me. I just lifted off going into a corner um, and let him back pie. Um, but he's maybe not going to get um, get easy treatment from everybody. He's just trying to get past the Aston Martin now. Uh, granted, once he's got past the Aston Martin, he's got a little bit of free air to play with. 
um, in order to try and catch up to a couple of the other guys in the field. But um, not the easiest circuit to follow in here at Majore. It makes it difficult to overtake at some parts. This part of the circuit up here, this is where you get all the slipstream, but unless you've had a perfect S set to you, not close enough at the end, and you just have to be ballsy on the brakes to get any moves made, Ickelpant's not close enough at the time being. Um, might be able just to sneak the Aston on exit. The BMW a little bit more nimble with the short wheelbase there. And probably can look at getting something done towards the end of the lap. I got myself out in P10. I've been out on these tyres now for six... Has it been? Yeah, six, seven, eight laps. Um, so nearing... Um, uh, nearing the point where I'll probably think about coming in again and taking another set of softs on. Pilo, full tank of fuel on board that car now. A fresh set of softs. So he's 11th, but, and this is a big but, I don't think he's stopping again. Um, Fat Picklesbro then, the last car to make a pit stop. Um, the king of fuel saving indeed. Uh, he might be in there a while refilling again, but again, very much like Pilo, we don't think he's going to have to stop again. We don't know what the strategists have up their sleeve until uh, the, the very last few laps of the race when we see all these uh, all these puzzle pieces slowly fall back down uh, and we see what everyone's been up to. Uh, we are 26 minutes through, uh, over the halfway point of the race now. Uh, although we do have um, a fairly competitive top end of the grid at the minute, do still have quite a lot to choose between them in terms of strategy. Uh, KB for certain is not too far away from a pit stop now. He's got 25 kilos of fuel left on board that car. So yeah, he can't be a million miles away from a stop. And looking at the race distance is estimated to be what is it? Was it 26 laps off the top of my head? The, the race distance. I know he's done in time, but you can quite confidently work out how many laps that'll be. He's doing the strategy we think he's doing. He's probably looking at pitting the end of lap 16 to 17. A few other cars might follow suit as well. As bad as he's just getting that Honda all out. It's a difficult car to control that Honda. Um, the, the chap behind the today when we're on this one is a very, very, very capable carter. Um, someone that wins a lot of karting championships. Um, so dealing with a very um, troublesome Honda. It should be like uh, him playing with a child's toy, but he's struggling with this NSX at the minute, by the looks of things. Um, just didn't seem to really enjoy that last sector at all, but he's still getting a great pace out of it. Uh, as he just uh, ebbs away at the uh, the edge of the track there, as Faruqi's chasing down the McLaren. Uh, McLaren with a lot fresher tyres. McLaren, of course, pitted uh, three or four laps later than the Honda did. British TKM at screen, yeah. So in other words, he's a carting, he's a carting god. Then <laughs> I've only done a bit of indoor stuff. I ain't got the money for the proper outdoor stuff. But um, yeah, you put it this way: to, to be the British TKM carting champion, you, you've got to be pretty good at pedalling a car. Um, so the point I'm making is, if uh, if he's fighting that uh, that Honda, it either means he's driving it to the absolute limit. Um, or he's um, struggling. Uh, I've, I've not seen him done. I've not. I, mean, I only know of it because he, he's mentioned it. He mentioned it in the um, Group C thing. Um, or, I, or I think I friended him on Facebook and then started seeing all the TKM stuff everywhere and looked into it because I'm curious. Um, and then I saw a. Um, uh, post yesterday about how we'd won some event. So yeah, he's a he's a, he's a decent peddler with our spanners and probably in fairness one of the going into the season I'd say one of the favourites to win. I mean you can have a look past KB, despite the fact he hates the car, he's pitting now, but uh, it's a lap 15 a little bit earlier than I thought actually. A little bit earlier there for KB. As Deno carries on. Yes, he can never look past KB or Deno for uh, being up at the, the business end of the championship there and the buyer parcel, uh, buyer parcel.com Mercedes. Um, but Spadders 
having seen a little bit more of his racing now, um, I'm just a little bit more confident that he's going to be a contender this season. Shows a link to the Racing British Championship start soon again. Um, are they like streamed on YouTube, like with commentary and stuff like that? If they need a commentator, my rates are very, um, my rates are uh, very competitive, as you know. Only like 300 quid an hour. Else have we got going on? So B rated's gonna have to pit soon. Uh, yeah, Ickle Pants we think doing the two stop. The BMW though showing great pace in this medium stint, doing mid 55s. Uh, don't forget, we'll be doing a little bit of fuel saving and tire management as well. We know these cars can do 54s, um, but the, the, the thing is, if you do that sort of pace every lap, you shred your tires to smithereens. So the guys. <laughs> Just have to have a little bit of management. Adam then coming close to a pit stop as well in the Aston Martin. And dropping back a little bit from Echo Pants now. He's got a penalty, so he's going to want to probably get rid of that. In fact, that's exactly what he does right now. Gets rid of it straight away. And you got myself in P7. I'm getting the nosebleed. I'm up so high. But again, I'm close to my pit stop now. It might even be the end of this lap that I decide to come in. I can't remember. Uh, getting chased down by Mr. Total Rose in the Citroen. Great, great race so far for Toro Rose. Uh, Valtteri 9th, Pilo in 10th. Again, Pilo is just managing it. Uh, we've got KB now who has pitted it. Again, the more aggressive strategy for KB. Uh, so that one, I think... Are you looking at the... Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I think... I'm not sure. I think uh, that would be for position, but uh, Pilo's got a lot less fuel, so Deno then pits. Right, we've got a, a load of pit stops happening now towards the end of the lap 16, so we've got uh, Deno and we've got b Rate, we've got Total Rose, Spadders, Adam and myself all in the pit lane. And this is going to shuffle things up again. Bottle chop. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, right, nice. I'll, um... I'll, uh, I'll have a look at that after this, because I won't mind what, I genuinely won't mind watching it. I always like to have um, motorsport on as casual viewing, so I tend to like um, subscribe to all the YouTube channels that stream and then you can re-watch the races afterwards. Um, just for casual viewing while I'm doing stuff at home or cleaning the car or something. So, uh, we'll check it out. Right, so let's um, let's review the field after we've had the second round of pit stops and, and make some very vague, wild predictions as to what may happen. So Fabuki does lead the race. He's got quite a gap, but he, we know he has to pit again and take the medium tyre. We don't think he's going to do that for another three laps at least. So um, as he wears the rubber down on that uh, windscreen wiper as well as his tyres, might be a tough ask to see him take the win, but we'll see. He's, he's had really good pace on those softs. Uh, Ickle Pants, a uh, similar situation for Ickle Pants, except he's only got the softs to take again, so he might be quite fast towards the end. Um, certainly extracting uh, really good pace and performance out of that BMW. Um, so again, when he pits, he will potentially drop a couple of positions, but he should have good pace. Uh, Valtteri going to pit this lap, so uh, P3 for a Porsche. Uh, not a true position, I'm afraid to say. Um, despite the fact that we'd love to be up there. Uh, KB, uh, first of the drivers that uh, we believe is going to be going to the end then. So he's... How far is he behind Buki as Valtteri Pitts? Can we see? Can we see? Uh, it's about 30 seconds or so. So Cheers, Crazy. Cheers for stopping on him, mate. Have a good night. Yeah, another what 15 minutes of this one left um, so not too long um, last pit stops will be trickling in between now and sort of lap 22 at the very very latest um, if there are any more to be made cheers crazy mate very tired I'm just I'm getting this one in because I'm live again tomorrow night for a live stream of these guys racing at whatever track they're racing tomorrow night, I'll post it up tomorrow. Uh, I just wanted to get round two done. Um, but I guess before round three started, OCD life and all that stuff, you know. Uh, right, so KB, yeah, the um, 
the, the Mercedes and the uh, uh, Hondas. This could be a bit of a, this is going to be quite an interesting little fight. Cause It's how KB don't like that thing, he's only put 100 miles on it. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, you mate, you just... I, 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 I can feel you there, mate. I know the, um... I know the Merc has its niggles, especially when it comes to handling, but... My God, I despise the Porsche. It was awful here. Yeah. I'd have taken the Merc any day over the Porsche here. Yeah. But then again, it equally could be the fact that I'm just not in the right mindset to race at the minute, hence me just backing out. It's, it's probably a bit of a safer bet for everyone. So Ickle Pants pits in the BMW. Uh, we see his teammate Pilo coming through. Pilo, of course, uh, is doing the no uh, the one-stop strategy. Does pass his teammate then, so it's a net gain then for the uh, uh, for the uh, number six three one BMW. As we see, Spadders and KB go to work. Fubuki's still out there. Uh, now he's coming up to some traffic, so he's coming up to lap Rick in the other Honda. Uh, Rick's getting blue flags, so he, I mean, he doesn't need to dive out of the way within sort of like two marshalling posts, there's, there's none of those rules in this GT Sport, but um, it's more of a be aware, you've got, uh, as Rick, yeah, Rick does just get out of the way of that one. Um, yeah, Fabuki then, he's going to lose a bit of time towards the end of this one, so yeah, he's making this, to be fair to him, he's making this soft tie count, so he's giving himself a, a really good opportunity. Uh, and you've got to be honest, he's... Um, Gonna, he's going to be right there, isn't he, towards the end. It's just a case of whether these two, if these two really start squabbling now, uh, if KB and Spadders start squabbling, they're just going to drop net time to Fabuki. Uh, does Fabuki pick this lap? No, he's going to carry on for another one. The longer he can get away with staying on the softs, I guess, is probably a benefit to him. Uh, Pilo then, fourth at the minute. Again, not too far behind KB and Spadders, uh, doing that one-stop strategy. So has a little bit more work to do in terms of fuel saving than a few of the cars ahead. Uh, Deno, uh, busy swearing at uh, every single corner there in uh, in his car, but uh, just just managing to uh, still extract some good performances. Um, now, obviously, going to the end on that soft set of tyres. Equal Pants has got the attention of Fat Pickles. Well, Fat Pickles, both the other one-stopping car. Uh, has put himself right back in the mix here towards the end of the race. Uh, B rated, uh, P8 for B rated then in the situation. I think he's, um, he's not really seen too much of B rated to be fair. He's just sort of lapped, lapped through and got on with it. And um, we've got Adam P9 in the other Aston Martin, the 007. And uh, then myself in the uh, number three Porsche just plumped my fastest lap of the race in a 55.7, that tells you how off the pace I am, I'm a full second and a bit slower than the other guys uh, we've got Total Rose in the other Citroen, uh, joined by the number 82 Porsche uh, Valtteri, Valtteri interesting, he's done two exactly the same lap times on 12 and lap 12 and 16 you don't often see that uh, that does show very, very good consistency uh, and then Rick who we unfortunately saw getting um, getting lapped by Fabuki uh, a little while ago. Fabuki then's gonna have to pit now. Uh, literal fumes inside the tank of that McLaren. He stretched this as far as he possibly can go. Now then, it's just a question. Uh, and I, I'll be honest, I do think KB will come out in the lead. How, how far is Fabuki gonna... Right, there he is, he's in the pit box now, so he's currently getting serviced. He'll get a set of tyres, he'll get some fuel on board. He only needs to take about half a tank, though. Uh, KB and Spadders, looks like they're both going to jump him in the pits. Uh, Fabuki is being released now, uh, although Fabuki is on the medium compound tyre. 
Right, so is that is that gap then between KB and Fubuki now? Was that lost at the start of the race? Uh, with Fubuki just being sat behind him, uh, wasting a little bit of that soft tyre's life. I'm not sure. <laughs> Only Fubuki will know that one. Um, but on the medium time, it's going to be a bit of an ask for him to uh, reel in the guys ahead. Um, he will potentially be getting caught by Pilo as well uh, in the BMW with it being on a, on a faster tyre. Uh, potentially even... Uh, potentially even LS Dano. Uh, with the 10 minutes we have remaining. Uh, LS Dano in the Merc. Not really got to worry about his fuel too much. Uh, extracting pretty consistent mid 55s out of that car and um, Fubuki we expect to be in 56s and 57s uh, for the last five or six laps. Definitely hurt him. Uh, yeah, well, the, the thing is in those Mercs, they start so well. Um, it's one, it, it was a major factor into why I had such a good season last time because I just got out in front and defended. Um, hurt other people's tyres and then it helped me. Um, so yeah, I think that was, um, played a part in it. But he obviously took the gamble on going on the softs to start with. He could have been conservative and took the mediums and matched and who knows. Who knows what it would have done. But uh, for the time being though, with eight minutes remaining, uh, your current race leader is KB in the Bypassal.com Mercedes, followed by TKM Spadders uh, in the TKM Honda with Fubuki in the uh, McLaren, Pilo in the BMW. Uh, so the top four, all represented by different manufacturers, and we've got a Mercedes, a Honda, a McLaren and a BMW uh, in the top four. Then we have another Mercedes P5, Another BMW in P6 with a Citroen in 7th and Aston Martin in 8th. Uh, and then in 9th there is a Porsche, but it looks like it's about to be an Aston Martin. And as uh, Adam and me have a little bit of a battle, uh, Adam sneaks his way up the inside. A uh, nice little move there by the Aston Martin. Just goes out wide a little bit. Uh, am I going to be able to take advantage through, uh, through this section? I don't think I am. Try and just potentially get the cut back here. And I think the Aston Martin's going to have the legs on me. Yeah, the Aston Martin's got the legs, and I just have to back out of that move and allow Adam uh, to maintain his position. And meanwhile, another Porsche doing uh, going to war is uh, Valtteri versus Total Rose. War wounds on Total Rose's car there in the front. I'm not too sure what happened to him, but it looks like he's, uh, he's, had, a, he's had an off track excursion somewhere along the line. And I can see uh, on his lap times at least, there's, there's obviously lap 16, I think, where he pitted, and then lap 14 was a 210. So when we had a bit of an off track excursion back then, I'm not too sure. Uh, let's go back in and check with our uh, leaders as TKM Spadders is in the lead of the race. When did that happen? Right, let's go and have a look. Let's have a look at this. Sorry, I don't normally like rewinding live streams, but it's a battle for the lead and it's important, so let's pretend this is a professional broadcast and uh, I'm just watching you in action replay. Um, so Spadders got... This is what I mean, the, the drive out of the S is there. That's opened up the opportunity for Spadders just immediately gets that space to the right of the Mercedes um, and Spadders then just nice and easy on the brakes a slightly shorter wheelbase of the Honda will aid him in turn and yet yeah, makes the car a little bit more unstable but when you need the finesse in, uh, in turn and it's there uh, and that is Spadders then through to P1 uh, KB down to second uh, not bad to say you can't stand the car have Fabuki. See, Fabuki on the mediums, this is pretty impressive stuff. I know he's carrying less fuel granted, than the guys at the front at the start would have been, uh, but he's still doing mid-55, so he's managing to mitigate that time loss. Uh, granted, just really struggling through the final corner there, so this might not be a representative lap time for Fabuki, but it is going to be a 56-1. Uh, and the guys up front are doing... Uh, well, KB's last lap was a 56-2, so he's, he's net gaining on P2 at the minute. 
Uh, Alas Dano starting to come under pressure then from Pilo. Oh wait, no, Alas Dano's gone past Pilo. Set that. Yeah, he did a mirror manoeuvre then, did Dano? Just yeeted down the inside, did he? That was a great exit by both those cars. Just got the drive in the Mercedes. Uh, so that's, um, that's Dano up to P4. Sorry, I did miss that. I was too busy um, waxing lyrical about um, about these lot up here. But yeah, we've already seen this happen. So yeah, LS Dano back up to four. So a good showing for the Mercedes drivers. Second and fourth, respectively, at the moment. Against what they will argue is... Um, some very strong opposition with Pilo in P5 now. Uh, Equipants P6. So this is where they started. They started on the third row of the grid, didn't they, the BMW? So the fact that they've done two completely different strategies, uh, yet they are ending up in the same positions, just, just to kind of show you that the strategies don't, don't always work out um, the way you wanted them to. It's very much dependent on traffic, especially at a circuit like Majora, where it's very hard to make a pass. And you do get affected by that dirt, yeah. Uh, me and Adam still, I want to say battling. Probably not as much of a battle, more of a... I'm just trying to stay involved, really. Just trying to stay relevant. Uh, Total Rose had a massive off behind me, did he? All oh, right, that'll, that'll explain the war rooms on his car, won't it? Did he have a disqualification? I didn't know that. Was that from Catalonia? The thing is, they've got a very good set of cars, BMW. I was very close to picking BMW this season, um, but I thought we'd plump Porsche. Probably should have tested the car before. Oh, I didn't run mediums. <laughs> wow. we've, 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 all, we've all done it. <laughs> we've all done that. We've all got to the end of the race and gone, I didn't put any mediums on. But for say, I think the, uh, some of these guys now, they've been in that lot, they've got like massive notes at the side of them telling, you, telling them to run medium tyres for at least three laps. Uh, everyone, this race though, that I have seen has uh, appeared to adhere strictly to the regulations and we don't seem to have any breaches this time round. So, spadders reaching our way at the front. We have got four minutes remaining in this one. Uh, I reckon we'll see a 26 lap for most cars, so uh, Spadders out in front. KB's just dropped back a little bit. I'm impressed with Fabuki. Fabuki's had a great drive for me. Um, brilliant drive from Fabuki. Despite the fact he's on mediums, he's still keeping up with uh, with KB. Uh, Deno, I've got to be honest, I think Deno might just be running out of time to catch Fabuki now. Uh, definitely with a few more laps available to him, he'd catch the um, McLaren just purely because he's going about four or five times a lot faster, but I just don't think he's got the time now. A strange one as he started quality on them. Ah, oh, right, so was it a case of he thought he was on them at the start? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Did he not, like, nip out and change them then or something? Bit of an odd one. Yeah, mate. Yeah, no, definitely we've all done that then. Which is unfortunate for Pilo because he had a great performance. And he's, he's having a great performance this time around. P5 at the minute. And quite a way clear of his teammate as well. Got a different strategies for the both of them. And Pilo, though, does have a little bit of fuel management remaining to do, but I think he's safe. Reckons now. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But it is what it is, I guess. Um, the thing is, though, with this champion, he's got plenty of races left to get those good results under his belt. So, um, certainly, what is there's a big battle kicking off behind, though. Look at this. This is going. This is getting all sorts of crazy. We've got Fat Pickles, bro. We've got Adam. So we've got two Aston Martins, two Porsches. That's me letting Temi through. Uh, I can't remember. I think I was just having a bit of a massive go slow moment, I just didn't really feel like I had the pace. Uh, Terry was doing faster laps than me. Um, 
So it's more of a case of um, chase down them BMWs, mate. No, not BMWs, Aston Martin. So I didn't want the uh, Astons to get too far away. Terry definitely had the opportunity there to um, make a move, so just backed out. There you go, Terry. Trying to have the fight with Total Rose. Probably only a matter of time before the Citroen gets past as well. Getting nice and close then between uh, KB and Fabuki as well. Fabuki's actually having a nibble here up into turn um, up into turn one. Let's jump on board the McLaren. KB is late on the brakes, is he there? Little bit of door contact there coming into Apex. Don't think it really upset anyone too much. Uh, plenty of room given by both drivers at the apex. And um, Fabuki, don't forget, he's on the medium tyre. In theory, this tyre should be at least a second a lap slower. Uh, KB takes the narrow line into that corner. That's going to give Fabuki potentially a better drive out of it. And KB immediately moves to um, uh, moves to break the slipstream. So Fabuki's probably got another lap in which to try and get this move done. Uh, if indeed he's going to get it done. It would be hard for uh, a McLaren on mediums to pass a Mercedes on softs, but they are very fresh mediums and they are worn softs, so definitely, definitely, definitely anything is possible between these guys. Uh, I'll keep an eye on that. Just see if <laughs> ultra defensive move by KB just immediately goes over to the right. Uh, Faruqi is going to have to. Oh, no, yeah, I remember what happens now. Don't, he, don't his wheel disconnect or something? Yeah, that's that's disconnect. Because the wheel's still receiving a constant signal from the fall, which you wouldn't get otherwise. Oh, no. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. That there might be. Is that a retirement for KB or can he get that back working then? He's managed to get it back working again, but he's got damage, he's got big damage on that Mercedes. And now it's um, now it's a case as, as I go on a bit of an off track adventure. Um, now it's a bit of a case of uh, can KB prevent any of these cars from getting past him? The thing is, and we are running out of time, uh, we have only got. 30 seconds of uh, 30 seconds of race time remaining. So unless you make it over the line, KB might get away with uh, not getting pulled up by all these cars. So there's B rated. Uh, he will get a 26 lapping, I think. Is KB gonna live to survive? Oh no, he's gonna have to do another lap, is he? The car, no, the engine's repaired itself. Oh yeah, it's only light damage. Of course, it's right. He might, he might actually survive this then. Valtteri's made some storming progress. He's uh, already up past one Porsche. He's making an attack on two. In fact, Pickles then. Uh, tenth. Uh, myself. Yeah, you can just see. Just, just whatever. <laughs> it's coast to the line. So, yeah, had enough. There we go. This is a great battle at the back. Adam, Valtteri, Fat Pickles, Total Rose, all kicking off for the uh, all kicking off for these positions. Uh, Ickle Pants has caught up with his teammate. His teammate is having to do some uh, furious fuel saving. Whereas Echo Pants doesn't have to save a drop and he can just flat out. So, uh, will will they uh, be asked to hold position? Or will the, um, will the car being driven by Echo Pants actually go for this move? Not too sure. Right, we shall see. Total goes in right on the back of Fat Pickles' boat as we come down towards Big Banky Boy for the last time of asking tonight. Total Rose gets that move, mate. Uh, he's up into P10. Uh, 
now. Let's go and give Spadders some credit. Uh, so TKM Spadders, fantastic job. P1 for him. Uh, it's going to be a P2 for Fabuki. Uh, it's going to be a P3 for Deno. So it's still uh, got a Mercedes on the podium. Uh, P low in P4 then. With KB's issue. Equal pants in P5. They do hold position. Uh, B rated. How long has this battle with KB been going on? No, it's KB trying to get back past the Citroen. Similar fuel between them both. The Citroen's got slightly fresher tyres. KB's trying to send it out wide, just get the cut back on the Citroen. This is going to be close. KB's going to get it done. That's a lovely cutback by KB just to re redeem some extra points. Then B rated, then Adam. Then Valtteri and Total Rose. Uh, Fat Pickles Bro is going to bring it home in 11th. Out of fuel, myself in 12th and Rick in P13. So that's uh, that's it for race number two. Uh, wheel disconnected. Yeah, I'm going to say it didn't happen first race. I could have sworn um, he had some sort of issue in the first race. Although I might be making this up. Hopefully he can get it sorted. Because when it works, he's uh, he's incredibly uh, he's incredibly fast in it. Cheers, Dan. Um, I will be live for tomorrow. I don't know where you're racing tomorrow because I forgot to look at it. Um, but wherever you're racing tomorrow, I'll be there in the commentary booth. So if you've um, if you've enjoyed this, I'll be live tomorrow night about what time does it start? Like quarter oh Red Bull in the wet. Oh for God's sake. I've only just done a Red Bull in the wet comps. <laughs> well at least I'll be familiar with it. Um Yeah, I'd rather you than me to be fair. I'd rather you than me. Who's got who's got what? The Citrons are alright there. Citrons are alright in the wet. Who's got what? I'm trying to think. So the Merc, a bit of a boat. Uh Aston's aren't bad. Honda, it's going to be a laugh. Yeah, it'll be fun, that. It'll be fun. But yeah, I'll be live for that one. How's tyre strategy going to work, mate? Has there been any guidance on that? I'll have to have, I'll have, to have a word with James and see, because obviously I want to know for the stream, but like, if you're going to have to run the Inters or the Wets, or is tyre strategy like gone? Is it just a free-for-all? Either way. I will explain in the stream tomorrow because I will have found out by then and actually done my research. I just wanted to get this one out before, um, yeah, I just wanted to get this one out before the race tomorrow. Just, I, I, OCD means I need them in, I need them in order really. Uh, no change needed. Oh, th that'll open it up at least. It'll make it more of a, just a race. Uh, at least for that one race at least. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, uh, big thank you for all the drivers for putting on a good show. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow night for more uh, for more action from the GT3s when we uh, get wet and wild in uh, in Austria. Join for them. See you in a bit. Bye bye.